DJ AFK here. I'm back with another video for Comfy UI. Uh, today we will be taking a look at a workflow for uh, better in painting, uh, how to keep the original character pose without doing any extra work. Uh, sometimes those poses get really messed up. So this way we will uh, come up with a way to combat that. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, we start out here with uh, a demonstration of the end result, and then we will uh, go ahead and rebuild this workflow from scratch. That's what we have is two people sitting on a couch. Uh, there is separation between them. I don't want to get too close to the other person here, so let's go ahead and mask someone out. Uh, it doesn't matter if we mask too much of the photos, so let's just cut her out of this picture. Sorry, girl. You got to go. All right, we will save to node. So now we have this mask right here. What we're going to do is take the masked portion and run it through an open pose uh, control net which will give us her pose and size and shape. Not bad. Uh, up here is just the original image with uh, both parties. Down here is the in-painted image, and we drew a blonde also sitting on a couch. We pretty much just wanted to change her person and her hair color. Did not say anything about her clothes, but it did change uh, shirt color and all that. Over here on the right, I just have an overlay so that we can kind of see what happened. Uh, now her her face is in a slightly different direction than the old, but it's not, not too far off. She's just a little bit shorter as well, as you can see right here. That's okay. We got pretty much the same pose and the same size and shape. Awesome. How did we do that? Now we take the original image and mask. We send that down to the open pose uh, preprocessor. We then create this pose from it. And we apply that pose. Uh, not too strong, though. So we're using 0.6 for both strength and uh, end at 60%. And we just send that as normal over the K sampler and in paint using the uh, set latent noise mask. I don't like the regular uh, latent for in paint. It doesn't seem to work the same way. And then we have our final result. Let's go ahead and from the beginning, Let's make a scene. We have two people separately sitting on a couch. Because we, we don't want them to be too close for demonstration purposes. Go ahead and do one of these up. See what happens. Like these two are a little bit too close. I could carefully in paint around her but i'm lazy don't want to do that so let's uh find a photo where they're a little bit farther apart and there we go so we have our photo that we can manipulate uh, we can go ahead and copy this to our comfy ui inputs folder and then it's easier to load it onto the new one, or you can just drag it onto the screen. So let's make a new workflow. We want to load a checkpoint. We're going to use Dream Crafter. This is an LCM model. I like using LCM models for uh, video demos. They are very fast. Move all this stuff off to the side. And our K sampler down here. 
right, so we're going to want a fixed seed just in case. And let's change this to a preview node. All right, so we do need, instead of an empty latent image, we're going to use a loader. Load image. Now this has the image and the mask on it, so we can use both. We'll use this as our starting point. All right, so to avoid confusion, let's go ahead and make a group for control net. And find our open pose. Open pose, pose. All right, so we can't just send the initial image into this. Uh, why that is, is that we will get both individuals. Go ahead and queue that up. What we need to do is mask or uh, invert the mask and get just this area in here. Let's go ahead and draw a mask before we get too far. All right, once again, you got to go. We'll leave just a little bit of extra room so that the models can do what they want. Save to node. Now we have our mask over our picture. We do need to invert the mask. Well, it's not going to let me do that right there. So let's invert mask. And we'll set that the VAE encode for in paint. Nope, we need the other VAE encode. I don't like this one. We can compare them, but uh, uh, not the not the greatest here. Need our VAE. We have our mask set and our pixels. Don't really need to grow the mask because we, we did overdraw it. Now we'll take this latent and see what we come up with. Now we need our VAE once again. And we have a photo, of just our subject we want to cut out. So that is what we're going to send to open pose. Let's see what shape she has. There we go. Now that we have our pose, uh, let's go ahead and add all the other control net pieces. We need to load control net. Uh, open pose is in here, right there. And we need to apply our control net. Um, we don't have all of the features. We need to apply it advanced. There we go. Before we forget, we do want to set the strength down just a little bit, uh, both the strength and the end. Uh, you can play with the parameters here. They 
as long as they're somewhere near the middle, you should be fine. Uh, if you turn it all the way up, a lot of times you'll end up with a really sharp line and a very different area for your mask on the final image. That's not really what we want. We do want to take, uh, let's see, need our control net model. We want to take our positive back to the apply control net first and then to the K sampler. And our open pose image that we have in the preview window here, because this is what we are going to apply. Then we need our latent image. Uh, what we need to do for that is actually encode Go ahead and attach our VAE. Our latent image needs to get set to a, a noise mask here. Uh, it is not in the menu. Let's see. Set latent noise mask. We'll take our encoded latent image, and this is using the original image, encode, and then set the mask based upon the mask that we drew. We'll then take that latent, put it into the case sampler, decode it, and see what our image becomes. One thing that we forgot to do is to give it a proper prompt. So we, uh, we ended up replacing her with a um, a bottle with a leg. <laughs> Interesting. All right, so we want one girl, blonde, sitting on a couch. Let's try that again. We are running entirely too many steps. That's why this is uh, taking a little longer. We want 10 steps, uh, CFG about two, and Euler A. Much better. Yeah, she does have a really similar pose. Uh, let's see if we can Run the comparison again. Here's our original image and our new image. Not too bad. Now, in the original workflow, we did have a comparison that is actually called an image blend. So we'll take the original image, and we will take our decoded image and blend them at a factor of 0.5 or 50-50. And this is just so that we can overlay them and kind of see our results. Make that a similar size here. And there you have it. We have a really, really similar set of photos here. Now you can go in and say uh, profile view. That way we could try to get this person to be looking sideways. Uh, sometimes when you try to fight what the model wants to do, it will run things like this where your face got kind of sad. But it is closer to the original little bit. <laughs> this guy looks happy. Not quite as happy as me. But yeah, let me know what you think. Comments below. Remember, leave a thumbs up and uh, post your generations. Let me see what they look like. Till then, stay safe.